Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be showing you how to install uh, Distant Horizons with shaders. Uh, so this is going to be for 1.20.4. Um, so first off you're going to want to come over to irisshaders.dev slash download. It'll bring you here. You just have to click download now and it'll bring you here. Um, and then you'll click download universal jar here. Now this will ask you to download it. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder here. <clears throat> Make it e nice and easy to find. And after it downloads, you're just going to run, uh, run it here. It'll bring up this. You will just select the version that you want it for. Um, I'm going to... Do 1.20.4. We're going to use the Distant Horizons beta version. It says it's not recommended, but um, that's where you're going to need to use to use Distant Horizons. Uh, we're going to do the Iris plus Fabric. You can just do Iris if you already have Fabric installed, but I'll do Iris plus Fabric, and then we're going to click Install. Okay, and it is completed here. So after it's completed, you can go ahead and close that. And we're gonna come over to our Minecraft launcher here. And um, you might have to reload it. You'll see that it has a fabric loader here. Um, now, if you hit play here, it'll tell you it's modded. And just click I understand, click play. And what this will do is if you, you can <clears throat> double check this by going to, uh, using Windows R, you can hit, uh, you can come over here and then you can type percent app data. Oh my gosh, I can't spell. Uh, percent. And then this will bring up your folder. You'll just go to your dot Minecraft. You'll click mods and it'll show the mods here. So this should all run nicely here. Um, so just you can just double check that while it's loading up to make sure there's a mods folder. Um, it says there's a new update available. Um, I guess I'll click update. Okay, after you load in your world here, you it'll take a while for it to actually load everything up, but I'm on 16 render distance now, as you can see. Uh, oh, not here. Video settings. 16 chunks here, and I can see all that far out. Um, and now based on your, um, your setup, you may be able to see further. Um, and this, you know, it's not going to work for everyone because this is a, um, this is a dev version. And the shader is a little weird with this beacon, but I wanted to kind of show you how far away can we see this beacon beam. Now it goes all the way to world limit, so we should basically be really extremely far. So if we just come all the way out here. Now, if you're using this on a server, you will have to load the chunks at least once before uh, before this will take effect. Oh. oh, I didn't think that it doesn't really render properly, but you can see the ice spikes there. Right. The beam has a, has a distance. You can't quite see the beam, but you can still see the spike where the those two spikes there. And we're an extreme distance away at this point. And we can still see that spot. And we will eventually still be able to see that spot as long as it's there. Like, for a pretty long distance. And, like, in survival, you're not going to even, like, notice that. So, um, like, yeah. So you're going to be like down here in creative mode. It's a little, 
it kind of breaks the illusion a little bit. Um, but in survival, this is definitely like really amazing. And you know, my, these are our new chunks. So now my computer's got to take time to load everything, uh, up, but yeah. So use this at your own, own risk, I guess. Um, because it doesn't quite work for everyone. I'm. It d depends on what your setup is and how your, good your computer can handle this. Um, but that's just how you install the Distance Horizons mod with the shaders uh, for Minecraft 1.20.4. And this works with all previous, not all previous versions, but like all previous 1.20 versions. So you're playing 121. I think I saw 119 on there too. Um, so there's a, it's a few versions, but basically all the versions that you want, it'll work on. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.